How's everybody doing here on a Sunday? We're going to be looking back at the past here. We're going to go to Petcad Speedway here in this particular photo bit. And these are all pictures that were originally on Dugster Diary, uh, which was on the web from 2006 till the end of 2019. This is Pencan Speedway down in Susquehanna, Pennsylvania, September 8th, 2006. So this was the very first year that we were doing this kind of stuff. And you know me, I like to get to the track early. Look at that surface, huh? That's some good clay on this track back in 2008. And of course we got there early so we could check in with as many people as we could. So basically I had the camera in one hand, the recorder in the other, and we'd go around and talk to as many race car drivers as we could, including Joey Gramis, who's uh, that's his 5J car uh, right there. All started, by the way, Jeff Crambos at 77. Uh, we get a couple of looks of that. Beth uh, Schneider at the time, now Beth Bellinger, sent me a couple of pictures of her IMCA Modified. Said, hey, you got any place to put these? And I was like, no, I don't. And we got together with Tony Street, who was one of the folks who was working on the website at the time. And he came up with this wonderful photo script. And that allowed us to do that and get a lot of hits a lot in the meantime. I always like this picture here because that's what these supports look like on a late model. They're meant to give, they're meant to move, and they're meant to be bent back very easily. Nice and soft, aluminum there, and uh, you can see the weight they have right there too. So I um, always like that picture because it kind of explained, you know, and there you can see the car that it was actually on because there's those pieces right over in there. Late models never really got big numbers down at Pencan, at least not during this particular era, but they were always fun to watch. Hey, Carl Nagel, how we doing? Got the orange going on. And it's before the race, so he's in he's in good spirits, right, Carl? <laughs> I had to say something or Val will give me a hard time. So uh, Mike Colston coming in, the recycler, of course. Danny Creedon's 16X. Um, I know I know this one, too, and I can't think about it. So, guys, when you, when you help me out with these, I know some of you have gone to the comment section and said, hey, the three cars, this guy, the 12 cars, this guy. So please help me out with this one right here. Uh, I can kind of read it on there. Uh, home grin, I think, or something like that. So, And how young does Danny? Danny Creed look here, right? He looked like he could be in high school. He wasn't at the time. Of course, he was older than that. But, geez, he really looks young there, doesn't he? So, Joey Colston's uh, 151 right there. I like this picture again because I like the different levels to it. You got the tire in front and everything. And anytime you put the camera low, it looks cool. Joey Colston here getting ready to go on a night of fun out at the Tiny Paperclip at Penn Can Speedway. I like that one because it's zero cents. You know, and of course, all of us, we kind of joke in racing that we can't have much sense or we wouldn't be doing this for the money that we're that we're doing and spending on it and all that kind of stuff. So nice stock car here like that. Don's Automotive Mall. Of course, they sponsored a lot of cars down there for a lot of years. And this is just me trying to have a little fun with the camera. Yeah, I never really taken pictures before. I shot a lot of video before this. So that first year when I had the camera, I was just going around and Anything I looked at that looked interesting to me, well, I was going to shoot it. That's all there was to it. So, bing, bing, bing. I, I often comment about the, the poor photographers back before digital happened who actually had to take a picture and hope that it worked and hoped everything was in focus because you didn't know. Uh, you could go to the to the developer. That was back when film, of course. You could go the next day and find out that uh, more than half your pictures were no good. And, of course, I'm going to tip pull down just a little bit there. Mopar performance. You know me, I'm always going to... I always like those Mopars. I've always been a fan of those. Like looking inside the cars, of course. You see the gauges there, the helmets ready to go. Always like that kind of stuff. Another guy that I know, I know his name. I just can't think of it. We're going to have a picture of him here in just a second. And again, this was a long time ago. I know what I want to say, but I don't think it's right. So I'm not even going to try. But So if you guys know for sure, let me know. And again, leave us something in the comments section. And we'll make sure to get these guys uh, their due. But again, Penn's Can Speedway has always been one of my favorite tracks. A nice, easy drive down Route 81. And uh, good racing, tiny track, nice fans. Everybody seems to know somebody there. I like that smile right there. His girlfriend's putting up the window net, and he's ready to go out and have some fun. So look at this bunch. See Brian Weaver on the left. Joey Grammis without the shirt. I'm not sure about the guy in the middle. He looks familiar. So again, help me out, guys. But uh, and here we are over in turn two, getting ready for some racing action here at Penn Can tonight. As you can see, we're only a few minutes away at this point from going. There's Mike Colston uh, getting ready. Nice guy. Always liked the, you know, you talk about the uh, guys who would tell you the deal and guys who would just, you know, be like a NASCAR guy and just tell you what you wanted to hear. Uh, Mike Colston will tell you the deal. I still remember the one time we were explaining something and, and somehow I got it totally backwards. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I got it totally backwards. I said, write something like, you know, write Mike or something. And he said, no, Doug. <laughs> and it was just the way that he said it. It was, it was hilarious. And, uh, 
really, really do miss you, Mike. And, uh, of course, he was fortunate enough after one major illness to get in a, a few more years of racing after that. So, And here are these guys going, hey, what are you doing with the camera? So they're standing over there watching everybody. I like the girl on the left. You can tell she saw the camera. <laughs> she was going to have some fun with that. As we get ready here, driver's time. And in just a minute, uh, they'll be racing. Of course, this is back when people were putting Doug's Dirt Diary on their roof posts. Really helped me get the word out quick. I, I, I had Dan uh, over there, Dan Pilot, print out a whole bunch of them for me. And that really helped get the word out and get us going and get us established. As Brett Tonkin here is working on a Schrader valve. Guys, hit the blue E down in the corner. That'll subscribe you. Two things for you today. Two other things up. I've still got some stuff in the can, and I've still got photos. I'm going to lay low a little bit, like we said, this week for a few days at least, and, uh, and let this everything heal after the surgery. So you guys take care. I hope you're having a great weekend, and all you racers, I hope you're finding the parts you want. I hope things are going well at the shop, and uh, don't let all the rain get you down. We'll be on the track soon enough, and it'll be July, and we'll be out there sweating and uh remembering back when we weren't racing so you guys take care as always thank you for all your support and we'll talk to you again soon thank you